Dominic Ward coming in the ring. He's wearing a kimono. He's got a record of one and one. And uh, this bout is uh, 100. He's fighting at 160 pounds. And just so everyone knows, all of these fights are scheduled for three three-minute rounds tonight. Correct. Now, these first two fights are actually in the amateur ranks. And uh, Andrew, can you explain the difference between the rules for the amateurs and pros? Yeah, there's just a small little rule variation for these fights. Um, the, the fighters will have to wear uh, a little more pan. They wear seven ounce gloves rather than the four ounce gloves the pros wear. They'll have shin pads on. And besides that, pretty much the, the rules are pretty much the same. Uh, uh, New Hampshire is one of the only states that actually lets amateurs do some fighting on the ground rather than New Jersey and other states that don't allow strikes on the ground. So they let fighters work on a little bit more. Uh, this should be a pretty good fight. And uh, Dominic fights out of uh, Alliston, Massachusetts. And like I said, uh, at the opening, you know, a lot of East Coast talent on the show. Yeah, it's very underrated, very underrated talent on the East Coast. Uh, not much exposure. UFC really hasn't spent much time on the East Coast. A lot of West Coast action. They're slowly bringing it back with the upcoming one-on-one uh, -on -one card in Philly. So it's a good know, chance for fighters to get themselves ready and uh, before they get a chance. That's right. Now, Dominic is uh, in the ring right now. He looks pretty excited. And now we're going to bring in his opponent, Noah Fonts. Noah Fonts is a very good fighter. He's uh, he's undefeated. He's Let's go to Chris Garrity. And then he's got his opponent right now. Now, I, I know Noah well. Um, I was the ring announcer. Uh, I'm the official ring announcer for the Asylum Fight League, uh, which is an amateur show in New Jersey. And uh, Noah's fought uh, quite a few fights. I remember, I think, three fights. Um, one uh, real good name that he beat was uh, Eric Purcell, who Eric. trains with our main man, uh, Brendan Barrett, down there. Yep. Er and Eric's good. You know, he's, he's the Asylum Fight League champion. He's, uh, he's had that belt for a little while. He's defended it. So... He's got some experience uh, with tough fights. You know, he looked pretty focused in the back. He trains with a good team. He uh, he's also out on Long Island like me he's with the Team American Fighter. So I say it's a it's a tough fight for Dominic War. Uh, Noah Fonts has a good training team. He looks very much in shape. Now Noah Fonts is the real deal. Now I'm looking forward for this kid to uh, turn pro. I mean, I think it's time. He's he's uh, you know there's conflicting records, uh, but I show him as nine and zero. And, uh, you know, that, that's pretty good in the amateurs. I mean, he's been dominating his opponents. That's excellent. It's, it's pretty smart to do. You see fighters like Ally Quinta holding their record maybe 12, 13, 14, and 0 in the amateurs. You know, they're making sure they're good enough to actually dominate as a pro. And uh, I feel like that's what he, what he's doing. He's looking to make sure every part of his game is fine. That's right. And now we're going to go up for the official ring introductions. Let's go to Chris Garrity. Ladies and gentlemen, American Steel Cage Fighting is sanctioned by New Hampshire Boxing and Wrestling Commission. Bobby Steven Chairman, Art Nolan Commissioner, and Deputy Commissioners Peter Routh and Alyssa Pokel. Your ringside physician this evening is Dr. Garrett Bomba, and your ringside judges for all bouts this evening, Mr. Mike Walls, Mr. Dave Ginsburg, and Mr. Ronaldo Campos, with timekeeper Leon Drucker and scorekeeper Sean Fitzgerald. Ladies and gentlemen, our first bout of the evening features three rounds at our catchweight 160 pound amateur division. And it starts with this man standing to my left and coming out of the blue corner. He stands in a five foot six inches tall and weighed in at 160 ready pounds. He's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter with a mixed martial arts record of one victory with one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Y Crew and hailing from Maynard, Massachusetts, Dominic Ward. His opponent.
opponent in this amateur contest is this man standing to my right and coming out of the red corner. He is perfect in all nine of his amateur mixed martial arts contests. He stands at a 5 foot 10 inches tall and weighing in at 163 pounds. He is a wrestler hailing from Center Reach, New York, and representing American Fighter, ladies and gentlemen, Noah Fox. And your referee in charge of the action, ladies and gentlemen, John English. All right, here we go. We're about to start this fight. Now, if you'll notice, uh, they're wearing some equipment that you don't see the pros wearing. Tell us about uh, what they're wearing here. Uh, they're wearing slightly bigger gloves, and uh, they're wearing shin pads. Uh, the gloves are only three ounces heavier. Uh, still, still can cause knockouts with these, and uh, the shin pads still throw a lot of head kicks, so we All still right. expect a lot of action. Well, here we are at the debut of the American Steel Cage Fighting, and uh, let's see a rousing debut. Noah looks pretty confident in his stand-up. Yeah, Noah told me before the, the match that he was looking to do, uh, to showcase his stand-up tonight. He looks very relaxed. Now, American Steel Cage Fighting, brand new promotion here on the East Coast. Uh, the, the, uh, the promoters are Sal Nano, uh, who is a boxing promoter, and he actually put on the Mickey Ward fight here. Yeah, the big fight. Yeah. Also, Dave Garofalo, who's the owner of uh, the Two Guys Smoke Shop, uh, it's their 24th anniversary today, so it's a great way to celebrate it. I see Dominic trying to, some front kicks. He's, he's, he's lunging in with some big punches. Big takedown, big takedown. As, as Noah ends up on top, he's in side control, has him up against the cage. Let's see what type of ground game Noah puts on. Yeah, I've seen Noah, you know what? He, he's got great all-round skills. And uh, he's looking to pass that half guard right now. Oh. Dominic does a good job of reestablishing uh, full guard. What Noah should be doing is he should be posturing up and trying to land some blows rather than just sitting on top of him. Now, this is a little bit different than the Jersey uh, Amateur rules because you can hit to the face on the ground. Correct. Jersey rules, you can just do uh, body punches to the. You can just do body punches and no, no headshots. Noah just clocked him with, with a right hand. And he's looking for the finish here. He's landing some very clean shots from top. Now he's got side mount, dominant position. Good way to land some blows. Going for the full mount. He's going to try to pass that last leg, get himself a mount. Now, what does Dominic need to do right here? Dominic needs to try to get his guard back rather, rather than trying to sweep like that going through the leg. You, you end up trapping your own arm. I, this does not look good for Dominic. He's, he's landing some big shots from top. Uh, Noah's very strong. His, he, his guard isn't, it doesn't seem very, very offensive. Do, Dominic should be trying to get back to his feet. He's, He's playing a very jujitsu game rather than uh, worrying about the strikes. And, and there we go. Noah establishes full mount. Oh, right when the round ends, he gets his mount, saves himself. All right. Good well, round. one nothing. Uh, Noah, I say for that one. Uh, I would have to agree. And uh, it was all Noah in that round. And uh, Dominic is uh, a tough guy. And uh, it's, um, but it's, he's in a big, he's in a tough fight tonight. No, very tough fight. Uh, he got a little lucky there. He, he gets a chance for a new fight, pretty much. He, he comes out.